Hello, I'm Dani. Welcome to the workshop. Today I will show you all the ways you can import STL in SOLIDWORKS and what are the differences between them. There are five different ways in which you can import STL in SOLIDWORKS. You have three main categories and solid body and surface body had also additional option to create mesh bodies. If you want to have every single facet as face from your model, you should either choose solid body, which will create a solid, or surface body, which will create the same, but as a surface. So let's see what the solid body will do. The process of importing of solid and surface body is slow because it's translating every single facet to face and it's translating also all of the lines if you are working with very complex uh, models with a lot of facets there is a big chance your solidworks will crash instead of opening this model as imported body so the plus here is that you can select every single face and work directly with it the minus is that this is a pretty heavy part file which is hard to work with as you can see it thinks a lot even of single operation and the other thing that it's also not so nice is because it's creating every single face as you can see it's rough and not nice and smooth You can also import solid or surface body with marked create mesh bodies. This is much better option to work with. You will still have editable object that you can work with, but in this case you cannot pick a single face. So when you choose a face, you choose the complete outer face of the body. The other difference is that the face in this case is smooth. But as I said, it's still editable model. You can cut through it, you can extrude from it, you can make fillets. And it's much lighter and easier to work with than with imported body or surface. So this is covering the first four types of import. And then we have the last one, which you have to pick in case that you were working with a very complex object that has a lot of facets and otherwise it's very hard to open the other two ways. In this case, you pick graphic body. When you pick a graphic body, you will have not editable object inside your solid works the first glance it will look like the imported surface or body not mesh but after you convert it to mesh it will look like imported mesh before doing so if it's very complex it's good to do something else first and this is to decimate mesh body this is working only with graphic object you pick either the complete graphic object and choose the percentage for the facet reduction you have here also some other options like the facet count and also the maximum deviation tolerance when you pick a number here and you hit calculate you will receive a preview of how your model will be looking after the reduction 
If you don't want to work with a complete object, but just with a part of it, you can choose paint select or tangent select. When you choose a paint select, you will have a brush, which you can go over the facets that you would like to reduce and it will pick them. Or the other option is to tangent select here. You choose the degree between the different faces and it will pick all the faces which are with such degree to the face that you have picked. This way you can reduce the facets only on certain area, not on the complete object. It's very useful if you have a flat face, there you can reduce more and on the complex faces you can reduce less. Once you have reduced the facets, you can convert this to mesh. You just pick the object, hit OK. At the moment you convert it to mesh, you can delete the graphic from your file. And from this moment on, you will have also editable model. You cannot choose individual faces. If you pick a face, it will completely choose the outer face, but you can edit this. You can extrude and combine with this body. So let's make a small recap. If you're going to import a very complex model with a lot of facets, then you should go for the graphic body. And if you want it editable later, you should transfer this to a mesh body inside SolidWorks. With solid body and graphic body with mesh body enabled, you will have smooth surface of the imported model with one single face around, also editable. If you want every single face or every facet a single face, then you should go with the bare version of solid model or surface model. But this will take a lot of computing time to import and to work with. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you happy modeling and I hope to see you next time. Bye.